just pop it and then freeze it. Let's go put water in it. I put the water in it, now let's freeze it. Okay, let's wait. It's the next day. Okay, let's take it out. Whoa. Alright, so here's one of the ice cubes. It's about to melt, so I'm going to put it back in. Okay. These are really cool. I'm going to eat one. It's just like drinking water. It's pretty cool. Whoa. Okay, we just got almost a moon-like one. This one's really cool. I'm gonna do this one. Ooh, a mini moon. All right, so this is really, really, really cool. I'm going to put this all back and it's probably gonna start melting. So yeah, I'm going to eat another one because this parsley is pretty good. And if you guys, have time then you should just totally do this it's really really fun and i think i'm gonna eat this moon so yeah bye okay i'm gonna eat this moon it's just like a regular ice cube these are about to melt, so bye! Simple dimple. Stop eat. Bye guys. Simple eyes. Making a DIY fidget. Okay, so first you take a plastic bag and put shampoo in it. Then you can get any glitter or add-ins. I'm gonna use these butterflies. Okay, I'm gonna put the butterflies in. All right, so I put the butterflies in and um, it turned out really, really good, but um, I'm not done. Now, this part is optional, but I'm going to color. Okay, so I finished it and I did a cute pattern and yeah, it's a really good fidget. So yeah. Hi guys, so I made two stress balls and um this one is rice and flour and this one is just rice so i'm going to be doing a little diy for today so these are already part of it so i made those i'm gonna put faces on them and then put some hair on them so this is just pretty much string from like a bracelet set so yeah okay so i'm going to put the blue on the green stress ball and the pink on the red stress ball so now i'm going to make the faces so i think i'm just going to do these in black but you could do it with whatever you want so yeah Okay, so I put a little smiley face on this one, and I'm going to do this face now. Okay, so I did this red one, and now they're both finished. They're really, really cute. So now, we are going to do the hair. So we got the blue on the green, and the pink on the red. Let's go. Okay, so I'm cutting this blue one right now, and I'm going to make multiple because yeah so 
I'm just going to pull this a little bit wider. Okay. This should be good. So now I'm going to cut it right about here. So if I need more, then I can always get more. So yeah, now I'm going to to cut this into like more individual and then I will put it on this green stress ball. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so I finished making all of them and now I'm gonna tape them to this. Okay, so it's all finished and it's really cute. It's a great stress ball and the hair is also very cute. So yeah. All right, so I just finished this one and it turned out really good. The texture is awesome. And I used the scissors to curl the hair a little bit. So yeah, it's really, really cute. And I would definitely recommend this because both of these are really, really fun. And so yeah. Hey guys, so I made this water bottle fidget and it's actually pretty cool. Um, it's just like water and um, some color. So I chose yellow, you could do whatever you want, but it's you could shake it um, to get the color around. And then it's best to use like a water bottle that you can squirt, like flush easily. Because yeah, it just feels like a really cool squishy. So yeah, bye! Hey guys, so today I'm going to be rating my fidgets 1 out of 10. Okay, so this one is the first one and I really like it. It's really good, but the bad side is a little bit hard, so I'll rate it a 9. Next is this train poppet. I really like popping the wheels and it's a really good good side but on the bad side it's kind of hard to pop it on the ground so i'll rate it a seven now the soccer poppet i love it so much it's a really good poppet it has mini ones right here and they're super small so yeah it's a very good poppet and i think i'm gonna rate it a 10 because I love it so much. Now this foot poppet. It's kind of a weird concept, but it's probably my favorite poppet. It has really, really good pops. The bad side is not bad at all. And I'm going to rate this a 10. Now these rapes. So this poppet is really good. You probably can't tell, but these are a little bit smaller than the usual bubbles. And the bad side is not bad at all. It's a really good poppet. And I'm gonna rate it a nine. Next is this pineapple, and it's a really good poppet. The good side is amazing. And then on the bad side, it has um, little pineapples. And I think it's really good, not really bad at all. So I'm gonna give it a nine. This pineapple hard shell poppet. So it's um, definitely my favorite hard shell poppet. And this is the bad side. So yeah, it's really good. I'm gonna rate it a 10. So we have this jumbo poppet, and I think I'm gonna rate it a nine and a half. And then I'm going to start rating some mini poppets. Okay, on to mini poppets. So the first one is this train mini poppet. It's the same as this one, but just smaller. So it pops differently and it's like really, really good. So I'm gonna rate it a 10. Now this mini poppet. So it's one of those ones where the good side is really good, but the bad side is really bad. So I think I'm gonna rate it an eight because I don't really feel like it's that bad. Okay, now this one. So I think it's really, really good, 
but I personally just don't play with it that much. Um, so I think I'm just going to rate it a 9 because it's still really, really good. Alright, now this one. So I know this one is the best because it literally has no bad side. Here's the good side. And then the other side. It's really, really easy to pop. So yeah, I'm gonna rate this a 10. And then finally, this butterfly name pop it because it's really cute and really good. The bad side and then the good side. So yeah, I think I'm gonna rate this a 10 because I love the shape and the color's really nice and it pops really well.